after we read it. So what, what do you hope it changes and improves like the impact? What, what do you see happening if people kind of, not, not just like kind of fake read it. <laughs> yeah, know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Does happen, but actually like read it, take the lessons, apply them. What do you see kind of the, the outcome of that could be for a school or a district? Well, first I want to say, you know, I'm totally guilty of fake reading books too. <laughs> right. um, but here's the thing about this book that's really nice is you can literally flip to the sections and get to the quick and dirty strategies quite nicely for discussions for, you know, PD or for meetings. So it's accessible that way, which is great. However, I think what I really want people to take away is that even through your example there, George, like you can make little microscopic changes to the way that you run your school, the classroom, your overall district. And it doesn't necessarily have to be like, we need to rip the system apart and we're building, like it can be as simple as like, yeah. maybe this year we're gonna do an onboarding video. Maybe this year I'm gonna spend a little bit more time uh, meeting with my paraprofessionals that work with me so that we can have a seamless transition. Maybe it looks like, you know, closing the recognition gap because 23% of most employees don't feel appreciated and, you know, putting a note card on, on someone's desk when I think about something that they've done for me, that's, that's fantastic or whatever, that's added value. And it doesn't have to be crazy, but sometimes we kind of get roadblocked or we get jammed when we think about this stuff. And it's actually really accessible. So my hope is people take one or two strategies and work it into their culture starting Monday. And then they can see a tremendous difference. Because when you think about the trajectory of like, say, an airplane, in order to end up in a completely different city or continent, an airplane really, if they're taking a pretty long journey, they're doing like a 1% shift in their trajectory, right? Either, you know, north or whatever, right? And so... I think what you have to do is really look at these changes as small incremental changes consisting of consistency over time, you know, like that's really what it's about. Well, and that's, you know, a lot of times when I do workshops or groups, they'll say like, oh, there's so much like what, like what you do. I said, just pick one thing. And if you pick yeah. one thing and you consistently do it and then you, you get really good at it and then you do another thing within a year, your, your classroom, your school could look totally different. Right. So like, but don't, if you try to do everything, you'll do nothing. But if you do one yeah. thing, everything can change. So I think that's it's like working out, right? It's like, I know you're a Absolutely. big gym guy and, and all of that. It's like, it's like just show up consistently every week, a few times a week and do the same things and do some progressive like overload and challenge yourself a little bit more each day. And the difference that you'll have in six months to a year is incredible versus if you're like setting out on day one and you want to run a marathon, like forget it. You're going to burn yourself out, get injured, all the things. I was accused of being on steroids this past week. So I was pretty happy about it. <laughs> I think that's a win, isn't it?